Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of Firewatch. In this episode we are going to try to find our way back to the um, to the uh, fire guys. service and, and let them know this is going on? Um, don't you think that would sound, you know, crazy? Yeah, it is crazy. We have to tell someone. Tell them what? Henry, tell them we're being stalked and you were attacked and we don't have any proof? I don't know. Tell them we're being bothered or something. Henry, I really like this job, okay? And if I give off even a hint of cuckoo my bosses they are never gonna let me come back out here do you understand that all right I'm headed toward the camp anyway okay it's to you hey what you just said keep my radio close to me yeah before I got attacked back at the lake I saw a radio on the ground kind of like the one I use and do you think that Maybe someone was, you know, uh... I don't know. What? Maybe intercepting our frequency with other radios or something. Henry... It's okay, just a thought. Can we... I, I don't uh... even know how you would do that. Yeah, well, you sound worried. No, I'm not, okay? Let's not spin out of control. Just keep hiking. Whatever you say, boss. I know we don't know what's going on yet, but I don't have a good feeling. I don't like feeling vulnerable. It's not like you can just call the police. I was thinking about the Goodwins. It just struck me that if anything weird like this happened to them, happened to Brian, just how scared he would have been. Ah. Don't you think if this started happening to them, he or his dad would have said something? I don't know. Ned... Ned was a weird guy. No, nobody is that weird. The moment you hear someone in the bushes or get punched from the shadows, you're getting your boss on the phone. Yeah. Brian is fine. I hope so. It, it was three years ago. He's in high school now. He's on summer break. Yeah, you're right. You're right. where they did the controlled burn. I can hike right through here now. Yeah, normally they wouldn't do that so close to a body of water, but I think they're extra worried about a fire jumping the river and burning up to two forks now that there's someone in it. Well, I'm extra appreciative of that. Let's see. The scout camp is southeast oh. of the river. There should be a pond on the way. Got it. What happens if a controlled burn gets out of control? Someone gets fired. Are you serious? Oh, come on. That one was an honest accident. I'm not even in the mood for wordplay. That's how wound up all this shit has me. Three blinds, right? Ah, no. Okay, nothing else here. There's some old snow 
automobiles out here. That's crazy. Looks like one of the poor bastards was cruising across this pond and dumped it. That was not a fun hike back to civilization. Uh, there's an old pond out here, not much more than a pile of mud. Uh, do, do you have it on your map? Ah, uh, yeah, I know where you are. Yeah? Where am I? Pork Pond. There used to be a sign up for it, but, um, well, folks kept stealing it. Uh, because it's called Pork Pond? It's a good goddamn name. That sign would look great in a den, or, you know, anywhere. to the camp is out. Damn. I'm gonna walk the ravine and see if I can find some high ground to get across. Good plan. any of the scouts? No, they haven't been out here in a while, and I generally don't have a lot to say to preteens. Unless it's Brian Goodwin. Well, if forced, I mean, I can make conversation with anyone. Plus, it was sort of fun to hear about all of his nerdy hobbies. What type of nerdy hobbies are we talking about with him? Like, a marching band? Oh, no, 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 no. Like, comics, model rockets, wizards and wyverns, you know. Oh. Hey, thanks to Brian, I can almost recall by memory the armor classes of most dragons. The what? No, you can't. Hey, planar dragons armor class. Let's see. Okay, no, I believe you. We're good. We're good. Uh, I guess these little shelters are where they keep the weeblos. For the past 35 years, yeah. There are bear traps out here, in the scout shelters. Scouts are stalwart prey. That's messed up. Yeah, these guys are gone. I found where they were sitting around before getting picked up. Damn. I found a little trowel. Maybe I should take it with me. Use it to pop open beers. Wow. Um, 99% sure that's for burying poop. And I'm holding it. Maybe drop it? I'm still holding it. Why am I still holding it? Now that's a real mystery. Okay, can I just keep it? Maybe it come in use? Uh, okay, guess not. Note. Hey D, they left something behind. It's like a memo from their boss. Let's say anything of note. Hmm. Uh, next few days, dropping into the thoroughfare on behalf of Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station. Wapiti Station? Holy crap. Keep reading. Oh, I just thought I would maybe, you know, stop there. Let the mystery percolate. My mother always said I would meet someone who'd give me a taste of my own medicine. They're running a research site out there. Uh, he was worried about wildfires. Someone is writing down our conversations. And now we 
find out there's a research site out here that, that, that we don't know about? What are they researching? Us. They're researching us. <laughs> you think they're studying you and me? I do, yeah. I mean, maybe it's about studying two strangers who talk every day. Like, if you put someone in isolation with someone else, what they do? Yeah, that's what I think. Well, fuck that. Agreed. I think we should allow for the possibility that this is all just a big misunderstanding, but... God, if you saw what you said you did... Fuck, Henry. Yeah, I saw it. Okay. So what's next? I'm gonna do a scan for supplies and then figure out a way to get back over that ravine and hike towards the site. Sounds good. Check in when you can and keep an eye out for anyone following you. Uh, I found an axe. If one of the crew left it, that thing is actually called a Pulaski. It looks like an axe to me. This thing will be a huge help. For both getting through the backcountry and getting through that fence. Yeah, I'm out of here. Yeah, at least we have an axe. Okay, now let's see. How do we get the hell out of here? someone, like, another lookout could be on this line, is there? No. Not without tapping our radios. Get in your tower. Shut the door. Don't leave and don't use your radio. I'll call you. Understand? I will call you. Thoroughfare Tower, this is Two Forks calling you for the, oh, 50th time today. The flapjack fire continues to move in a southerly fashion. Delilah, for fuck's sake, answer your radio. Hello, sunshine. Sorry, went out for a little bit. What can I do you for? Uh, you can do me for a trip out of here. I don't care if it's on horseback or a helicopter or in a canoe. Just get me out of here. Henry? We have work left to do. Let's chat about what's bothering you and you'll feel better. Are you serious? Let's talk. Okay? Uh, okay. By the way, I was wondering if your flora of the Shoshone info poster was still up inside your tower? What? It's just protocol that those stay up. You know, info about your tower, the surrounding tree species, etc. Uh, uh, all right. You know, have a look at it. Make sure it's in ship shape. Okay, yeah, it's up. Why are you acting like this? Great. Just wonderful. Do you see the tree in the top row, second from the left? Let me look at it, and I'll tell you. No. You don't need to tell me. Just, um, internalize it. It's, it's a great tree. And there's an area called, um... That tree's name in your sector that maybe you should take a midday hike to. Maybe. Um, which tree am I supposed to internalize again? Top row, second from the left. Head to a place named after that tree and you'll have a wonderful afternoon. 
Top row, second from the left. Okay, so... Come on. Cotton wood. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Um, maybe I should go for a hike. Nothing like an afternoon in the Rockies, I tell ya. Radio me the moment you get there. Cottonwood Creek. Why should we go back over there? That's where we just came from. Uh, okay. <coughs> well, I guess we're going to save that for uh, next episode. See what's going on. And uh, yeah, I'm going to leave it with this episode for now. So, hope you enjoyed. Give a thumbs up if you like. Don't forget to subscribe for more. And I'm going to see you at the next episode. Bye-bye.